Here at our Rover Detectives HQ, we haven't had access to a drone or a helicopter. However, we didn't let that stand in our way. We have produced you our very own quite low-tech aerial images of a riverscape to help us describe the conditions that are the best for healthy river landscapes. The whole team got involved with developing this animation, which took us the best part of the day to produce. We are extremely pleased to be able to report that throughout the whole production of this picture, not one single drop of paint was spilt on the carpet. Not one drop, and we used a lot of paint. Let's start by looking at some of the conditions that can cause an unhealthy river, and that river creatures don't much care for. You'll see that there aren't many plants in the river, in fact it's all rather bare. Also, the river banks are very steep and smooth, and the river has been straightened in the past. All of which means that it will run very fast, too fast for many of the creatures to live in. There's nothing in this river to slow it down. Not a river bank tree, not a boulder. It's a very bare river which provides very little habitat for fish and other river creatures. Can you see the tractor? It's working right up to the river. Because it's so heavy, it will damage the river banks. And if its tires compact the soil, then rainwater will wash more quickly off the land and into the river, which can cause flooding further downstream. Uh oh! Look at that cow. It looks like it's been grazing very close to that river. And now look, she's going to... No! She's actually pooing in the river. Cow milk is toxic to river creatures. This is really bad news for this poor river. Now look. The tractor is on the move again. Some of the soil is washing into the river. That's not good news for the poor creatures. You see, soil covers up areas where fish lay their eggs. Not to mention where all incredible invertebrates live. As the soil will have been fertilised, it will also make the river toxic. Not only that, the soil in the river reduces the amount of oxygen in the water, makes it really difficult for the poor river creatures to breathe. Let's see what we can do to help make this a healthier river. As you can see, we've re-meandered the river. Yes, we've put the natural bends back. We've given it its wiggle. This will help create a mix of shallow, fast-flowing and deep, slow-flowing areas, allowing gravel and plants to settle on the riverbed, which provides homes for wildlife, and forming deep pools that larger fish can live in. All this will also help slow the flow of water as it travels downstream towards towns. Look, the cows aren't feeding by the riverbank anymore. This sturdy fence has created a buffer strip. A buffer strip protects the river from things that are not very good for it. Like farm animal poo and loose soil. And gives that strip of land right next to the river a bit of a breather. That means no more poo or soil in the river. Hooray! Hooray! The buffer strip also stops the cows from trampling the river banks and eating the plants growing there. The bushy trees growing there now are great. Their roots help hold the riverbank together and they provide nice shady spots for the fish. We win. 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 The river now has natural boulders in it. Boulders are great in a river like this. They vary the speed of the water. Variety is very important in a river. Some creatures need fast running water, others like slow running water. It looks like this river is beginning to provide a fantastic habitat for fish and other river wildlife to thrive. More meanders, more plants and trees and less pollution all makes for a healthier river. And a healthy river equals happy fish and their friends and happy humans. <laughs>